In this module, we'll, um, we're talking about the nuclear model of the atom, and we're going to look at J.J. Um, Thompson, who discovered the electron, who came up with the theory, and Ernest B. Rutherford, who proved his theory wrong while trying to prove it right, actually. So, J.J. Thompson discovered the electron, and he reasoned correctly that because most matter does not have a net electric charge, if everything can, has electrons with their negative electrical charge in, the, in it, then there must be something balancing that, something with a positive electric charge. Um, and he, he posited that it looked something like this, called his plum pudding model, um, partly because it was the simplest uh, explanation mathematically. So he, he said that, okay, he knew about electrons, okay, um, after Millikan's oil drop experiment, we knew their mass. Um, we know they're really small, they have negative charge. And what Thompson said was, well, what if, okay, this atom is just this sphere of, this, this, of positive charge, this cloud, this it's almost like an ether with no real substance to it except positive charge, with the electrons spread about it, you know, kind of like pudding with plums in it, like plum pudding. All right, so then, <clears throat> Rutherford, who had a lab, liked, actually liked that theory quite a bit, I understand, and, and he said, okay, let's, let's try to prove that, that that is the correct picture of the atom. So he set up his metal foil experiment, um, and it looked like this. He had a source of what are called alpha particles. At that point, what they knew about alpha particles is that they were positively charged, they had a positive electric charge, and they were Compared to what they knew about electrons, they knew where the, uh, an alpha particle was quite massive um, and bigger than an electron. So he had this sheet of thin metal foil in the middle here. He had a, a, a detector right here. And this detector would show whenever an alpha particle hit it, it would leave a mark. And so what he saw, okay, was when he shot this beam with alpha particles at this piece of metal foil, most of the time the alpha particles went right through it, like it wasn't even there. But he noticed there were some marks here that showed that the alpha particles were deflected slightly, and even deflected, you know, to a large extent, bounced back almost, right? And that did not um, coincide with Thompson's model, because here, okay, with this is Thompson's model, and, okay, alpha particles, while they're lot, a lot more larger and massive than an electron, they are smaller than an atom by orders of magnitude. They knew this. Um, so his, what he expected was that these alpha particles would hit the atom and smash right through it. You know, maybe some small deflections due to attractions to negative charges, but other than that, pretty much straight through the atom. This is what he saw. Okay, remember those those uh, marks that they saw that were where they were deflected. Um, this model fits that picture much better, and we're going to see. Okay, so Rutherford, after doing numerous experiments, trying and trying and trying to to make the data. Well, not, he didn't try to make the data fit the theory, but he wanted to make really sure that it didn't fit the theory, and and it just didn't. So he came up with a, a, a picture himself. Rutherford came up with his own model of the atom based on his experimental evidence. And he said, well, what it looks like is that most of the atom has the electrons in it, um, but all the positive charge is in this really small region in the nucleus. And that's where most of the mass is too. So, you know, he called it a nucleus and that's what it is. So it looked like this, only this is definitely not to scale. If this were to scale, you couldn't even see the nucleus. So much smaller. So here's Rutherford's mo nuclear model of the atom, and it's basically the way we see it today with some very important modifications. Um, so most of the mass and all the positive charge is located in the nucleus, which is really, really small compared to the rest of the atom. And all of the negative charge and almost no mass is... Um, outside of the nucleus, which is the vast majority of the volume of the atom is there. There's Rutherford's model. Um, so our picture looks something like this. And these are numbers, approximate numbers for a hydrogen atom. In a hydrogen atom, it ends up that the nucleus is about 10 to the minus 13th centimeters in diameter. And the nucleus is about 10 to the minus 8th centimeters in diameter. 
So in terms of diameters, five orders of magnitude difference. Um, so you know, in the, this picture here, most of the mass and all the positive charges in this really small region, and all of the negative charge and very little of the mass is in this region outside of it.